Brother Repair, I think everybody heard what's going on in Charlotte and Durham and all that and the protesting and all the violence and, you know, political extremes is not a place for a Christian and, um, in fact, uh, really politics is not a place for a Christian, I don't think. Uh, Jesus Christ, he, uh, he, he didn't get involved in politics at all. Uh, the only time he ever touched politics is when they asked him why he didn't pay taxes. Uh, he could have told him, well, he didn't own a business or have a farm, but uh, he told the gentleman to open up a fish's mouth, and there's a coin in there, and you could give that to Caesar if you want. But uh, Jesus Christ didn't get involved with taxes. The disciples, when they started the church, didn't get involved with politics either. So, uh, we really shouldn't be getting involved in politics too much, except maybe the vote. Um, yeah, there's plenty of work to do in the kingdom. We should be building up the church and the kingdom of God. Um, if you have a job in the church and ministry in the church, that's great. If all those ministries are filled up, there's plenty of work to do outside the church and to build up the kingdom of God, whether it's volunteering in a hospital, uh, being a chaplain, uh, volunteering in a hospice like I do, um, food banks, uh, Bible studies outside the church. Uh, if you're getting involved with politics, um, you got too much time in your hand and you need to uh, devote more time to the kingdom. If you do get involved in politics, don't get involved with extreme politics like Antifa on the left and the, the, the far right groups. And uh, any Christian that gets involved in politics should stay in the middle. Uh, the moderate politics, whether it's moderately liberal or moderately conservative, uh, but we want to stay in the middle, not go to the extremes. That's that's not where a, a child of God ought to be. Anyway, thank you. Praise the Lord. Jesus loves you. Thank you.